Today we are going to be going over how to download, install, and then create a database in MAMP. First you're going to look up install MAMP and it should be the first URL that you find. Then you're going to go down and you're going to see MAMP and MAMP Pro. For this we're only going to be using MAMP as MAMP Pro typically costs money. So you're going to go down to the download button and then you're going to click on it and then you're going to choose either your Mac or Windows depending on what system you're using. Um, note that when this video is being recorded that Windows is only the 3.2 version whereas Mac has the 4.0 version right now. Um, I'm going to be downloading Windows as my machine is Windows. So you click the button and we should have something pop up. Um, I'm going to save mine directly to my downloads folder and then you're going to see this pop up in the bottom. Once this is finished downloading you're going to click on it or you can go to your downloads folder and click on where it is. And then you choose your language, English. I have already downloaded MAMP before, so it's going to tell me to remove the current installation. And I'm going to click yes, and then mine will uninstall. You may not have to do this if you haven't had MAMP on your computer before. But mine's going to uninstall completely, and then we will open up the installation. Once it's successfully removed, or if you didn't have MAMP already on your computer, then you will see this screen. This is your installation wizard. I'm going to click Next. Now we don't want MAMP Pro um, to install, so we're going to uncheck this box right here and then click Next. We're going to Accept and click Next. Um, you can choose where you want to put your MAMP folder. Uh, I'm just going to use the default that it's chosen for me. Um, because I've already installed MAMP, it already has an existing folder for me, but you probably won't get this pop-up if you haven't installed MAMP before. And you're going to click Next, unless you want to rename um, your MAMP folder. And then I'm going to have mine create a desktop icon. And you click Install. Next, you're going to click Finish, and then you can go over and search for your new program, and then click on MAMP. You can also go into your actual um, documents and files to find where you've newly downloaded, and it should be this application right here. So this will pop up once your installation is complete and you've opened your application, and you're going to see your start servers, mine says stop servers because it's already running, but when you click this, you will see that there's an Apache server and a MySQL server. For um, Windows, I believe there are little green lights, and for Mac, there should also be some checkbox or um, lights as well. And both of these need to be marked for them to be for MAMP to be running properly. If you got an error when you clicked your start servers, 
or one of these boxes or both of these boxes isn't clicked, it means that your ports need to be changed, meaning something else is currently using those ports. So you're going to click on those preferences and you're going to go to the ports tab and you're going to change this to something else. I'm going to use 100 and then 101 and I'm going to click OK and it's going to load and you should see both of these become green again. Now we're going to click the open start page button which will open up a page on your browser. If you look at the URL you'll see that it's localhost. So this is a live web application. Um, we're using localhost. It posts to a web server on your machine. So this is actually your folder on your machine. We're going to scroll down and look and the default that man MAMP uses for your username and password are root and root. In another video, we will show you how to change this. For now, we're going to go up to Tools, click on it, and then click PHP My Admin. This is a web based interface for the database server. So you can go to your users. And you should see um, some root stuff here. We will change this in another video. For now, to create a database, we're going to go to Databases. And right here, you can type in a database name. I'm going to call mine COS120. I can create one called COS120. And as you see, once it's created, it will show up down here. And it will also show up over here. Because we don't have any tables, when you click on it, nothing will be in the database. And that is it for this tutorial.